Bubba on the big old horse. It's all the same. What you say, Jay? Only the names have changed. Huh? Y'all ain't listening to the man. Have wasted away. What? I know these folks ain't barging again. With the double back barge. Double back barge. Come on, guys. I thought we agreed that that's rude. But since we here, just like last time, huh? Hey, man, I feel like we preceded the introduction. We all know who we are, huh? I know you, you know me. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's jump right into the topic at hand today, okay? We talking about nothing but some good workout today. Everybody always hit me up talking about, you know, how do I get a sufficient amount of um, work when I ain't really got too much time to get it in in the gym, okay? We're gonna talk about supersets, okay? And the way you utilize supersets in that short amount of time to get the most amount of time, I mean, most amount of work you can out of that short amount of time. I hate to jumble it all up like that. Hey, but you got to follow me, okay? So let's start off, what, what is, what's a superset? So a superset ain't nothing but when you have two exercises in succession, okay, and one combo, okay? So let's say I do me some good squat jumps. I got a set of squat jumps, boom, I got 10 on. I got my legs warm, boom, 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 boom. As soon as I done with that 10, I go straight to back barbell squats, okay? And then boom, I got a set of 10 of that. Then I do that for about four sets, that's a superset, okay? So then, when you want to get to even more efficient way to do a superset, that's when you hit uh, opposite muscle, opposite heads of muscles on the same muscle, okay? So follow me real quick. Let's say you want to work out them arms. You want to get your arms, you know, more balanced, a little bit more full, you know, a little bit more big. That's when you would superset, you know, curls with tricep extensions, okay? So curls gonna hit predominantly, okay, your biceps, okay? Depending on your hand grips and all that different stuff, but for the most part, it's hitting your biceps, okay? And tricep extensions, no matter which way you do it, overhead, you know, your kickbacks, or even your um, extensions, you know, that's hitting your tricep head. Long, whether it's the long head, you know, it's hitting your triceps, okay? So <clears throat> we're going to start off with a good warm-up. We're going to hit that neck, and then we're going to go straight to, your, to the side delts, okay? So we're hitting the neck with um, plate flexion and um, extension, okay, where you're just going to simply sit on your back, lay on your back, put the plate on your head. You're going to go forward with it, boom, boom, boom. Then you're going to lay on your stomach, put the plate on the back of your head, then you're going to boom, 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 okay? I'm going to show you how to do all this. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to swing through it because I'm ready to go work, okay? I've been waiting on this all day, okay? So then we're gonna move on to them side delts, okay? We're gonna bust the side delts out with four sets of 20. And then we're gonna do that neck exercise combo I was telling y'all about. We're gonna do four sets of 25 on that, okay? So as soon as we're done with that, then we're gonna move over, move over to um, the bulk of the work. So we're gonna start off with the military press, five sets of six, okay? And I already re um, talked about how I was gonna be doing a lot of high sets, but like I said, I'm, seven, I'm in my seventh week of the program, okay? So like I said, the way you keep increasing um, volume you can even go by frequency, which is the way, the number of times you're going in a week, or you can um, increase the number of sets you're doing within a session, which is what I'm doing. Really, I'm combining both of them within the plan, okay? So, I got five sets of six on the military press, and then I'm supersetting that with trap bar shrugs, okay? After we finish that, that's five sets of 10 on the trap bar shrugs. After we finish that, we're gonna move over to the standard um, shoulder press, superset it with the upright rows, okay? So. The reason I like to do the shoulder press with the dumbbells, that focuses more on the side delts once again, like I said. That's just one part of my shoulders I feel like in order to get that 3D bolder shoulder effect, you got to work on that alongside of the back delts, the rear delts. That's very undeveloped with not only the layman, but also the bodybuilder. You'll hear them talk about building that back delt just because, you know, folks not really building the back delt. They always doing presses, you know, uh, barbell presses and stuff that really work the front of the uh, delt, okay? That's why you see folks mostly have them big front shoulders, side shoulders, you know, side of their delts, it might be halfway developed, but you look in the back, it's flat as it can be, huh? You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. So we just gonna, we gonna run through that. That's just a quick one for the day. I just wanna show y'all just a little bit, the, the, the um, just basically what a superset is and how you, you couple all that to get a, you know, a, a very good work, not even just a good pump, but some good work, okay? Let's go, let's get to it. It, 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 I probably take em. I've been high, high, flying with them jets in the sky. Amigo Michoacano, you we got the domain in the supply. I cannot lie, you can tell I'm high from my eyes. Trying to get a check and a blue one to get verified. The Adora, uh, never been to Roma, but I'm fly. Stupid on your booty, couldn't handle it, but didn't cry. I can be shy, but to her, I'm the man, I'm that guy. What don't kill me, make me, make me, make me more alive.
this on the low. So most of the time, folks drink they smoothies, they post-workout drinks with all the added protein or whatever you put in yours. They drink it after the workouts, but see, studies have proven on it. If you drink it before the workout, it lessens the chances of uh, muscle pro protein breakdown. So in layman terms, you ain't got to worry about the protein breaking down that much because you're putting a sufficient amount of nutrients in your muscles before you break them down, you feel me? So me, I like to drink a good smoothie right before I work out. Literally right before. One, help me keep weight on. Okay, and two, for that, that simple reason, I'm trying to keep my muscle protein synthesis got down higher than my muscle protein breakdown, okay? So, like I said, long story short, start drinking them shits right before you work out. For whoever trying to gain some extra weight, you know, extra muscle, okay? You're going to find out that little caveat right there, man. You start doing that every time you work out, but, you know, see the big difference. Keep that on the low. Ready? 24, all right, bet. All right, so we're gonna start off every time. This is my type of warm up. You know, some folks like to go run and do what they do, you know. But like I said, I'm in a hypertrophy program right now. So I say that to say, I don't really do no cardio. I'm on my fat boy shit right now, man. You feel me? So my warm up for my body is to add more volume on top of the, um, on top of the workouts that I'm already doing, you feel me? So like I said, I'm doing shoulder and um, back today. So I'm about to go ahead and start with neck and side delts, you feel me? So a lot of folks, they don't work their neck at all. You know, that's why they got shrimp tip neck. That's a syndrome, that's a disease. Watch out for it. You gotta be careful. Shrimp tip syndrome, I'm telling you. Shit make your neck small, all that. So to keep from that happening, I do a lot of neck exercises in my warm up. Shout out to, um, to Jeff Nippert, man. Nigga's the fucking goat. He's a, he's a Canadian, he's a Canuck, but I, sh I fuck with him a long way, man. So like I said, we're gonna start off with uh, four sets of 25 right here on the neck extension. We're gonna work flexion, and um, shit, I forgot the other one. So we're gonna go front and back. Let's just do that, all right? <clears throat> with the weight on top of my head right here, we're gonna do 25 right here, then I'm gonna lay on my stomach, put the weight on the back of my head, and do 25 right there. Okay, four sets of that. Then we're gonna move to the super set of that. It's gonna be, uh, um, like I said, lateral side delt raises, okay? So we ain't got nothing but uh, four sets of 20 there. High reps, high goddamn sets, you know? And shit, we got to get to work. Sorry about getting the full range of motion here, man. Just like with anything, you're gonna get full hypertrophy, full muscle growth whenever you really work on the full range of motion, okay? See, follow me. Working all right here. From the top all the way down. That's your whole posterior chain. for you to go the other way, okay? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man, this is a good warm-up. We getting primed. Shoulders ready, neck ready. My shit popping up, boy. Hey, over here. You ever heard of a shrimp tip? Hmm? Yeah, man. We just got a goddamn good warm-up in. Gonna say get our neck ready, shoulders ready. Now, shit, we finna go to the trap, man, with them goddamn kilos and blows that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! We in the fucking trap! Trap bar dance! Yes, sir! All right, so right here, man, this is the first exercise combo here. We got, uh, we got five sets of six on military press, okay? Right here, you're gonna be working primarily the front part of your delts, okay? It's a full shoulder workout from your front to your side, to your back delts, but primarily gonna be working the front part all the way to the back, I mean, to all the way to your lats, okay? So then we're gonna superset that with a, uh, with a uh, primarily trap workout, okay? So we're gonna move to our trap bar shrugs, okay? So 
The reason I like to go trap bar shrugs because whenever you got your arms out as opposed to having them closer in, closer in to your body, you engage more of your lats, okay? So that's why I move straight to the trap bar deads, shrugs, okay? So right here we got five sets of 10, and then right here we gonna have it that five sets of six. Okay, let's get to work. So right here we got the five sets of six on our military press. Our first set we normally work on our bar track. So your bar track ain't nothing but that straight line that you create from the, that, your, your start spot to your end spot, back to your start spot, okay? So if you notice, you're going with a straight line up. Straight line up. Some folks give them a curve to the front, then go up. Some folks, they get off that bar track and they'll go straight up with it. This what you don't, this what you don't want to do right here. That's what a lot of niggas doing. I did that. You want to be right here with it. Yes, sir. The key is to not rush so much as to going down into your eccentric part of the lift. Like I said, I always want to keep constant time and attention on the bar. Past weekend, had a blast. Shot came over, gave me ass, then an ass. Can't wait till Friday. This weekend, she gon' stay, want keys, I'm like, no way. Not trying to think about my job in the weekend. Little mama wanted to D, now she tweaking. Didn't see my car in the driveway. Pull up on the house again, she gon' spoil Friday. Conversation boys, 4K, do you know? TV that, that, that's supposed to be on them. The shit they took off is the shit that's supposed to be on. Tom and Jerry, that shit that's... That nigga said, got a blast. Tom and Jerry is classic. Nigga had a really, they really had a genius on TV and they took him off for some reason. That nigga, uh, teacher was Miss Fowler. A whole mean ass oh, bird bitch. Oh, oh, oh. Chicken bitch. Real chicken head. Hmm? Oh, oh. That one got that D town on. You, uh, you better get the boogie in. Huh? Come on, you gotta work. Get in your bag. Get in your bag. Get in your bag. Come on. Get up, yo. Get up, yo. Get up, yo. Go away. There you go, that shrimp tip behavior. So right here, now we finna move on to our next exercise combo. We gonna have the standing shoulder press. See, with the standing shoulder press with the dumbbells, you are gonna be targeting more of them side delts once again, okay? This is another very undeveloped uh, region of the shoulders for the layman person and even for the bodybuilder. That's why you see them develop, have such crazy ass develop on side delts because that's what they get judged on the most. Add on to the appearance of the whole body, okay? So I say all that to say we got five sets of six on the standing shoulder press. We are gonna superset it with the uh, upright rows. So the upright rows, that's also going right back to focusing on that side delt once again. See, that side delt gonna make that motherfucker look like it's carved, you feel me? So it's focusing on that side delt, but it's also hitting them traps, top of your traps, okay? So we got four sets of 10 on the upright rows, okay? So once again, you got five sets of six on the standing shoulder press with the dumbbells, okay? Moderate weight, okay? Um, and then we got uh, four sets of 10 on the upright row. Absolutely. Big thing, man, you just want to go to 90 degrees. Boom, he go right back up. Once again, he just going to 90. Give me a close, I always try to keep playing. I always try to keep playing and say, man, you got shoulder impingement problems whenever you're doing the upright rows. That's a fallacy, man. You got problem. You got the probability of getting hurt in any kind of lift. It's just all about proper technique. It's cool if you don't, just know it's tough to ignore me Humiliated on a date when my car got declined Gold digger right in front of me, she took that as a sign Never seen again the dick BF with a friend Don't pretend to be somebody, but you ain't really shit Have you had a girl ride while doing the split? Fucking nasty, make anybody come quick 
lick you like a lizard when I slizzle. Home state will panic if there ever is a blizzard. Top star bitches on it like a sizzle. Baby, we ain't got no time for no games, baby. This ain't rock, paper, scissors. The white claw is basically the white claw. I'm supposed to the white claw. Feel me? Black cloth. Fuck it. Yep, we got that. We got the diet, diet. No, cal no calories. 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 No calories
Really, we just use the dumbbells just to get more activation on the side delts. It's that simple. We're trying to develop the side delts just to get more of that bolder shoulder um, visual whenever you see the shoulders, that, that round 3D look, okay? So we did the five sets of six with the um, shoulder, st the standing shoulder press, okay? Coupled with the upright rows, okay? Four sets of 10, okay? It was, it was, it, it was really smooth, re really simple. Um, like I said, right now, I'm, we in the hypertrophy part of the fa um, training phase, so when it comes to rest, I really take like a minute to thir a minute 30 to three minutes of rest every set, okay? Just because I'm really worrying about being able to give my, my nervous system, my muscles a chance to really get their break. So when I do get back to this next set, I can really get all the amount of work I need, okay? I'm not in no um, endurance part of no training, okay? I'm not worrying about every 30 seconds, I got to go. Every 30 seconds, I got to go. Every 30 seconds, I got to go. That's not what I'm doing right now, okay? If I was doing that, then I, that's what we'll do. But so. I say all that to say, you got to realize what part of training, it, I mean, what part of the program are you in, okay? Everything doesn't fit all heads when you're talking about elite training, okay? I'm not talking about no little, no little, little, little something somebody just put together. We're talking about programs. We're talking about really uh, subjecting the body to pure stimulus, uh, progressive stimulus, okay? So, um, yeah, man, that was just a couple of little principles we wanted to throw out today, man. I appreciate all the uh, support, you feel me? Hey man, I'm gonna leave this off with you, man. You either go be encouraged or you're gonna be dissuaded. Mm. That's simple, man. We out. It might be the one. Never seen me, I'm out here just minding my own I'm the realest, illest, trillest, someone set that in stone Never seen me, I'm out here just minding my own Saying you read the way and I'll be ready when I get home Never seen me, I'm out here just minding my own I'm the realest, illest, trillest, someone set that in stone Never seen me, I'm out here just minding my own Saying you read the way and I'll be ready when I get home you say I'm nice, need my brown with a little ice Might say you want it to really depending on your price Be some days you won't give up, don't, that's my advice Sacrifice, now shut down when it's time to throw the dice Magic made it, so can I erase my PSI Till I die, be the coldest, freshest, always been that guy Forever love Atlanta, feel like, voila Trying to give you more balls than Willy Wonka Never seen me, I'm out here just minding my own I'm the realest, illest, trillest, someone set that in stone Never seen me, I'm out here just minding my own Sing a read away and I'll be ready when I get home Low key, see me when you see me Losing sleep on what I want, do you even believe me? Grab me before family, understand me Buckhead, condo, show me only top flows Gucci slides are money top, plus a Louis belt That ain't me, but if I get it, swear I won't call for your help Man, I only wanted Cuddy, told you how I felt Cold is hot, it stands too close, there's a chance you might melt Never see me, I'm out here just minding my own I'm the realest, illest, trillest, someone set that in stone Never see me, I'm out here just minding my own Send you read away and I'll be ready when I get home